Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how I built this uh, wing, this RC wing for very cheap and uh, then I'll show you how it flies. So I started with a sheet of insulation foam. I also cut out cardboard templates for the wing profiles. So there is a big one and a small one which I held up in place with some nails at each end of the board. Then to make the hot wire cutter I used nichrome wire from a hair dryer that I unwind from its holder and powered it with a laptop charger. Adding a switch for easy use, I could get to work cutting the foam. So to cut the wing profile you just have to follow the cardboard which obviously won't melt with the hot wire cutter and you have to uh, be at the same level at each time. For example, if you're at 50% on the big side of the wing, you should be at 50% on the small side of the wing. Following this technique, you're able to cut the wing profiles pretty quick. And then once you have the two finished wing, you completed the body of the Delta. They just needed a light sanding with some sandpaper wrapped around a piece of wood to get a flat surface. With that done, I could concentrate on the propulsion system. So I found this propeller in my plastics bin. It ended up not being ideal, so I switched for a lighter one afterwards and I'm just mounting it on the motor attachment. With that you will need an ESC and a brushless motor that I got on eBay for $10 both. Solder the three wires together and the two power wires to an XT60 connector. With the included screws and mount, screw the motor down to a piece of wood to be able to test the motor if it's spinning. My test was underpowered so that's why it stutters. With that done, I cut a square out of some 5mm thick plywood. In which I drilled 4 holes for the motor mount. I also used my hot wire to cut a wet shape out of the same insulation foam as the wings. This will serve as sort of a fuselage for the delta wing. Then I hot glued the piece of plywood in front of that block. Then it was a matter of attaching that fuselage to the wing. I traced the outline of the propeller and I used my hot wire cutter to cut out a square for the propeller to turn. Then it was time to cut the ailerons. Strategy here was to make duct tape hinges. For that you cut a V groove in the foam. and put duct tape on each side of the wing and it makes a pretty efficient and very cheap hinge. Now to put in the servos, it was just a matter of cutting a square hole around each servo. These are 9 gram servos and I considered they were powerful enough for this application, which they were. Now I'm cutting some control arms out of a sheet of plastic. Then I heat up the piece of plastic to make a 90 degree bend. Note that the position of the hole you put in the control arm will determine the ratio between 
the range of the servo and the range of the aileron in terms of angle. Then it was just a matter of gluing it down on the aileron. Note that I'm using hot glue for this application. Hot glue doesn't chemically melt the foam. It will melt the foam if it's too hot, so just be careful to not put it directly uh, on the foam. Now I'm adding more components to the body of the plane. I'm making space for the receiver in the fuselage. Hot gluing the servos in. Then I needed to make the battery, so I made it out of 18650 cells that I recovered from laptop batteries. I'm using three at the moment, which ended up being not enough power. So I added up a fourth cell, which makes 14.7 uh, volts. Choose big gauge wire for the power wires. Strip them. Tin them. And solder an XD60 connector to them. This connector is very widely used as it's very practical and very cheap. And solder them to the cells in a series configuration. Solder the balance wires, which you will plug in your BMS to be able to charge your batteries safely. For the connecting rods, I simply used a wire coat hanger that I cut and bent to shape. The length is also very important, but I think you'll figure that out. Once all the components were on the body, I could start testing them. Finish the battery, I just wrapped it in some duct tape to make it more sturdy and prevent any shorts. The BMS I use, it's the IMAX B6AC. It's a good value and it does its job of balancing the charge of each cell. Once the battery is charged, I can put it in place on the delta wing and start testing everything. This first global test uh, brought up some issues such as the servos are on two different channels and cannot be activated at the same time. But I found a solution to that problem as you will see later on. Now you see me drilling a hole between the two wings. It's for a carbon fiber spar which used to be a tent pole. Now I'm gluing the fuselage to one half of the plane. I want this plane to be able to be taken down and this is what you see here. Everything is glued on only one side including the carbon fiber spar. And when I want to use the plane I assemble it and put duct tape around the wing and also double sided tape between the two wings. And here is a ASMR sequence for you guys. Then I can assemble the two parts and finally stick in the receiver. So I tried to find the center of gravity of the plane to put the landing gears at the right place. So that's what I'm doing here, uh, trying to find the right placement for the batteries for it to be balanced. But I didn't really know what I was doing and it was closer to random than what I thought. So I'm using the same coat hanger to make the rear landing gear. Use some steel tube to make the bushings and some empty duct tape rolls for the wheels. For the controls, what I do is I use the diagonals on the controller. So you've got up, down, right, and left. And for the throttle, I uh, it's a normal throttle. Yeah.
test flight number one. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't fly. So uh, what just happened is uh, no shit happened. It doesn't fly. Sorry about that. So for the first test, uh, it was a huge crash. So I have to rebuild it. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching. Even if it didn't end up working, thumbs up if you like it, and please consider subscribing.